Are teachers taking labor to school? That's next on your Labor Minute. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison, Los Angeles, Denver, West Virginia, Arizona, Colorado, Kentucky, North Carolina, Oklahoma, and most recently the city of Oakland. Teachers have been forming impenetrable walls and marching in lockstep to win victories in pay and benefits and infrastructure and class size. And they have struck to better themselves and to better the learning environments for our children. They are message disciplined and organized and speak with one voice. And they are claiming victory after victory. Enough so to persuade the president's son to proclaim in a recent speech that, quote, these loser teachers that are trying to sell you on socialism from birth. Wrong again, Junior. In fact, these winning teachers are trying to get a decent paycheck and protect children whose parents can't afford to send them to Choate from having classroom ceilings falling on their heads. Randy Weingarten, who is the president of the American Federation of Teachers, says that schools have been underfunded for years and that teachers have had enough and that parents are behind them. America's teachers earn less than other workers with comparable education and experience, and that gap has been widening for a number of years now. In fact, in a poll conducted last spring, 59% of teachers reported they took second jobs from time to time, and most report having used their own money for classroom supplies. In fact, in Oakland, where the latest round of teacher strikes is unfolding, many say they can barely afford rent. I'm Mark Harrison, with you on Labor Minute.